for over 120 years. Capilano Suspension Bridge has thrilled visitors from around the world. We sell a, a naturally thrilling experience. Today is no different. From 300 feet above the Capilano River, workers hang from the canyon wall in an attempt to turn John Stibbard's latest dream into reality. John's vision? A thrilling cliffside walkway offering a rock climber's view of this unique West Coast tropical canyon. We want to be able to take our guests and give them that thrill in that beautiful natural environment. You're not going to find another owner that's got a canyon that wants to build a bridge on the side of it, right? <laughs> it's the world's first cliff walk. John's goal? I wanted to scare some people. <laughs> An engineering challenge like this is the first of its kind. But there's one question. Is it possible? If it's not perfect, it won't happen. To make it all work, this highly skilled crew of specialists need to fasten tons of steel to an uneven rock face while hanging from ropes. These fellas are moving around equipment that's anywhere between 50 and 200 pounds. It's a major test for any team of experts, but this team, led by geotech engineer Duncan Wiley, is up for the challenge. The concern was to make sure that every anchor point is stable and there are not going to be any rocks falling down on the deck later. After months of mapping the cliff face and multiple design revisions, Duncan has a plan that just might work. It's a cantilever deck which will run about 150 meters along the cliff here. In theory, it should work, but pulling it off is another story. We've had to go back and forth for probably two years now. Project manager Mark Luke Lumiere's job is to get men and metal over the edge. If that brace is gonna fail, everything will end up in the canyon with the crane. Mark Luke's eyes over the edge is rock climbing pro Dave Edgar. Just about to put a bar into the cliff here and helping out Christian to get a nice angle for a good shot. It's been hard to not damage any trees and keep the environment as intact as possible. While mounting an anchor, the team finds a weakness in the granite. Oh, we hit a bad slip back down in here. It's a setback they'll have to address. To meet the opening day deadline, fabricators will have to build the walkway while the anchors are being reset. It shows you just how wide your stair is. Yeah, I'm wondering if you guys measure it from this hole to that hole. As pieces of the walkway are delivered, the team works quickly to make up for lost time. That's good. With the key pieces now in place, the crew can tackle the largest, most difficult section, a semi-circular bridge known as C5. Mark Luke We're ready. is eager to get started. This is the most complicated part of the project. I have a good team and I'm pretty confident it's gonna work. So let's put it on. With the rock bolts in and anchor plates ready for mounting, Dave checks the angle of the bolts. We want the bar to end up like this and not like this. One miscalculation here could throw out the entire alignment, resulting in big problems down the line. After a painstaking process, the team is finally given the green light to inject the grout, the glue securing the bolts into the rock. The grout is taken to Metro Lab, where it's put to the ultimate strength test to be sure it stands the test of time. We take a sample out of the grout that we're gonna to use. To pass, the sample has to withstand a pressure test of up to 50 MPA. If the test fails, they'll have to pull the plate and re-drill the bolt holes, wasting precious time and money. The grout test is a success. C5 is going to be 100% safe for anybody on that platform. C5 assembly continues at the cliff face. Exciting! With their deadline approaching, Dave sees a problem. We should be down a little bit. We won't be able to swing it because of the flange. The final piece doesn't fit. This far. Oh! One millimeter. The crew works through, carefully adjusting the 2,000 pound centerpiece to line up the last remaining connections on the bridge. With a final push. Another pen. And some brute strength. is complete. Awesome. Now for the final test. 
The bridge is loaded with barrels, filled with water, simulating bridge weight at maximum capacity. 14,000 pounds total. A gauge is applied, measuring cable tension. The whole linchpin in this system is that C5 anchor. If that piece isn't there, this bridge is two feet below us and we're hanging on for dear life. If this critical test doesn't pass, major revisions will need to be made, which could postpone opening day until next year. 14, 19.3 hertz and 11.3 degrees Celsius. Good. Yeah. Ta-da! The bridge is not gonna fall down. With the final touches placed on the walkway, glass floor and handrails installed, landscaping finished, the new attraction is polished and ready for opening day. I've had so many dreams about this. Two years in the making. We're really happy with this. It's an engineering marvel. Never built anything like this in my entire life. The result of a vision. And one team's desire and determination to rewrite the book on engineering and excitement. That's pretty scary. Yeah, right? We try and find ways to show guests who appreciate our natural environment and have just a sense that they need to be protecting this natural environment. This is about exposing people to exposure.